All right, so as of recently, I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to how I keep my truck clean when I'm on the road. Organization is probably one of the biggest things that you can take into account, bringing just what you need and keeping that stuff in the spot for in the moment's notice. Obviously, I keep a lot of things in my truck and I don't- Today, I'm gonna be spending the day deep cleaning the truck. Lord knows it needs it. It's been a little over six or seven months since I've actually tried to clean this truck and I've never actually deep cleaned it, so. Like, what is that? months and months of grime so one thing I did notice the other day too maybe I'll tackle it today is uh <laughs> my topper was leaking so my bed was wet if you remember from one of the last episodes but that's pretty important I also had a leak coming in through right oh this is what I'm talking about like there's last night's dinner just hanging out there's a leak coming in through here and it was actually leaking on top of my on top of my fridge so so I decided to start by taking all the bulky items out of my car, like my bedding, um, random clothes, sheets, sleeping bags, pillows, all that stuff, and it's gonna go directly into the wash. The next thing I did was went to my clothing storage bins. Um, I keep my fishing rain suit and just some spare clothes that I took on my last trip in there, and there was a lot of dirty clothes in there, so brought those with a load of laundry and uh, decided to wash my sheets. All right, so I just drove the car, flipped it around, and uh, I think I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do next is take out all the bulk items. Just have a lot of things back here that need to get moved before I can really start cleaning on the, uh, the plastic and floor mats. So after that stuff was all tossed in the wash, I decided to get cracking on the other stuff. Um, emptied out the whole back seat. I had a lot of different stuff back there, including like a whole table, a couple buckets that I use for trash, boat oil, different backpacks for organizing, my camera bag that always lives with me. It was just a mess. I mean, I mean my truck's basically turned into a storage shed at this point. Sitting in the back right now is kind of giving me some nostalgia. It's like starting to remember what it was like. Sitting in this thing for the first time when I was building it out. It's kind of funny. Yeah, like if I didn't have that mattress in here, it would be so much more comfortable to sit up. So go big or go home, right? I haven't uh, taken out this battery system since I built the truck. Lots of loose wires and things that just could have been tidied up better. Um, for those of you that don't know, I run Two, battery diff two different battery setups, if you guys wanna hear me talk about that, I'll go over it in a future video, but this is my first time actually disassembling the entire truck project because I just, I really wanted to clean the inside of the bed, get rid of any dust and dirt that might be living on the inside. So if you guys have watched the build video, you know that I built this thing so I can take it out of my bed easily. So basically all I have to do is take these screws off and then I can take all of these support pieces out of here. Um, there's really not that much that's interesting. Back here, this is a, a big pile of rust um, from a piece of steel wool that I had in one of my drawers that fell out. You can see there's a bunch of gunk and dirt. Got some old contacts, some plastic bag ties, bottle caps, some random trash. Anyway, it's a lot cleaner in here than I thought it would be. Oh, there's some fishing line. Um, but yeah, it is a lot cleaner in here than I thought it was gonna be. So I went ahead and took out all the framework. It didn't take too long. If you guys wanna see actually how I built this frame setup and how I built just my truck setup in general, there's videos on my channel explaining more. But after I got that done, I decided that I'd uh, get on my hands and knees and scrub out the truck bed. It wasn't actually as dirty as I thought it was gonna be but uh, there was a fair bit amount of dirt and dust in there. And I'm happy that I made the decision to uh, go this deep and deep clean. Again, I don't have any background in, uh, in detailing and I've never really tried to detail a car or a truck before. So this is kind of like a poor man's detail job. bit of dirt there that was all underneath my drawers
so after I got the tailgate and the bed cleaned up, um, I realized that I could do something that I have been wanting to do for a while. I ended up repositioning one of my support pieces and hacking away at my cheap plastic bed liner just so I could fit my uh, secondary battery under there. Uh, it's gonna save me a lot of room underneath my nightstand, so I was actually really excited that this worked and I was able to fit the battery in there. So as you can imagine from driving over 60,000 miles in this truck, I've hit a lot of bugs. I'll give you a look here. It's not even half of it. I've already cleaned this area off, but. Man, it's gonna need some TLC. It is a lot less atrocious in here than it was before. By no means am I a professional detailer, but this is the hardest I've ever cleaned a car. And I think it looks pretty awesome. Also, this surface is so hard to keep clean. If you're walking on something like that every day, it's already dirty and I just washed it last night. And you guys are the first to see it. Just did it like 15 minutes ago, but this, this right here is a bike tire. 
And so now I have full pass through to my truck cab. So I'm excited about that. That's great. I don't know, I'd say I'd probably do about six hours of cleaning total on this thing. It's really exciting that I got that battery buried and I found some extra storage in here for some propane bottles. Um, so if you open this up, see how much more room I have in there. So this used to be another battery right here. And now I actually have room for storage for like my USB fan. Um, my inverter's not plugged in yet and I have an extension cord and stuff. That still needs some organization in there, but it's okay. Um, one other thing is there was screws actually that came, these are the screws that I use for the handle. Um, the tips of them were always like nicking on stuff. Like when you shut this, sometimes the bed gets pushed over and those screws will come down and they'll hit this and they'll like tear my bedding. Um, or like, I think it got me, it got me when I was even picking this thing up right in the pinky. You can see one of those screw tips went right into my pinky and it hurts like a mother. I mean, when you're trying to open this thing up and charge your phone at night, like that sucked, but not only for emergency situations, but just like to be able to access the back there, like grab stuff in the middle of the night or like, I don't know, fill up a water bottle, grab a safety appliance for if somebody's trying to break in, like it just gives you a peace of mind that you can get to your your driver's seat too from your sleeping, your sleeping position. Um, I did clean up my tires and rims a little bit. I think that, that stuff did pretty well. Like these tires look good. Honestly, I thought there's gonna be a wet finish, but it's more of a matte and I kind of like that. Um, this is exciting. So this is a, a table that I had around. Got some storage bins, I can pull them out and have different stuff in them. I think this is my emergency kit. Yeah, with like my thermosel. Got like some flares in there. Emergency water bottle. Really not much for crumbs in there. I mean, there's a couple rocks or whatever, but I did a, I don't want to toot my own horn. I'm sorry. I keep doing it, but it's pretty, pretty nice. Obviously it's not perfect. I never, I've never detailed the car before again. So I think I did okay with uh, minimal equipment. Um, in total, I spent, I don't know, $45 on, uh, materials to clean this thing up and then probably plus another seven to do that self, self working car wash. So Thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode. I know it's uh, not really like normal episodes, but I thought you might be interested a little bit in to see how dirty and how clean a truck can get after, you know, truck camping in it for over a year. So um, really appreciate you guys tuning in and for the continued support. Until next time, my name is Maverick, and you're in the drill. Just keep on trucking. Guys, I just lifted up my license plate. Like, it's a little loose right here. And I lifted it up like that, and this bee fell out. He's still alive. Oh, shit.